We are group 16 and uh, today we will do a presentation about organizational behavior, case analysis. And uh, here are the contents about our presentation. First, we will do a brief introduction about this case to introduce his, uh, its background. And second, we will identify the problems. And then we will do the analysis and uh, finally we will get a solutions. And at last, uh, we will do a um, brief conclusion about this case analysis. And here is the Phoenix Office organization chart. And uh, uh, this case describes a newly promoted middle manager in a global multicultural organization that has challenged a number of factors at work that affect her and her team's ability to meet the expectations of its regional manager. In the case, we have found out another problem that is lack of commitment towards the company initiative. From reading the case, it is um, concluded that the employees of the company had their personal problems or interests focused upon rather than actually focusing on the company initiative. So now I'm going to talk about the second problem, lack of management support. Among these cases, we can easily figure out the employees of the company are not willing to work as a, as a team, but work more focused on working on their own problems and interests. So without management support, uh, the employees are working individually rather than as a team. So they can reach their their own goal uh, effectively. Now let me introduce the part of poor attitude. The lack of motivation within the employees themselves further lead to the employees to showcase poor attitude and the poor participation in the company activities. It also leads to having a communication gap within the employees. In the case, it has mentioned three phenomena about poor attitude. The first one is about Hoffman. Hoffman is contemptuous of his new manager. Uh, he seldom listens to his new manager's order and do whatever he wants. The second one is uh, Peterson. Peterson is so aggressive and uh, unfriendly towards his teammates so that uh, all of his teammates aren't in favor of him. The last phenomenon is about Vega. Vega is unconcerned with serving customers. Uh, sometimes she even don't she even she even in the clear with whatever uh, what the customs have said and uh, ask for the uh, request twice or more. So another problem that we analyzed from the case was the lack of commitment towards company initiatives by the employees. We analyzed the problem within breaking them down within three employees: Hoffman, Vega, and Torres. So let us first look at Hoffman. Hoffman had the longest period of experience in the company, which is why he was resistant towards any new change. New change meaning the new change in the management. He had an anchoring basis uh, decision-making perception, which is why he didn't comply to introducing a new line of, or promoting a new line of flowers in the market, which led to a downfall of the company. Next, let us look at Vega. Vega had a lack of motivation, which led her to not knowing her products well enough to portray them properly to the clients. Basically, there is a saying that you have to know your products properly enough before taking them or selling them to someone else. By not knowing her products properly, she portrayed herself to be incompetent, which later led to the company looking incompetent in front of the clients. The last employee that we looked at was Taurus. Taurus had a self-serving bias perception, which basically means that he was too busy with himself or his pet project uh, towards or versus not having enough interest towards the company or company's projects, which is like the bigger picture in this in this case, uh, thus leading to the company failure as a whole. Now I would like to talk about lack of management support. In this case, we can see that Campbell Richardson's superior is a busy manager. She has little time to talk to Richardson face to face, even she just transferred from Chicago to Phoenix. They usually contact with each other by the email and phones. This will result in a serious problem. Compared to face-to-face -face conversation, communicating by the email and phones will miss some key factors of conversation, and it will be a barrier to effective conversation. For example, when they are on the phone, after assigning the work to Richardson, Campbell asks her that, is everything all right? Even Richardson showed that she meets some difficulty on her face, but 
Campbell couldn't sense it and gave her a hand right away. Additionally, Richardson is a newbie in a managerial position. Even she has taken some training about management skill, while she still has no idea how to apply them into practical situation. What's worse, her superior doesn't give her any guidance about her responsibility. According to Campbell's behavior, Richardson regarded Campbell as an unreliable superior. When she encounters some problems, she will not reach to Campbell for help. Second, Richardson is designated into an existing team. Team members have known each other for quite a long time. They get used to the management style from the previous leader. Furthermore, I can feel that every team member have self-centered nature, so they cannot accept a new leader to join their team. Also, I think the previous leader didn't manage them properly, so they have become self-managed. For example, one of the members, Hoffman, he only cares about his sales fi figure. Even he is uh, the top salesman in the company, but he doesn't share any information with other team members or even Richardson. Also, he rejected Richardson's recommendation about selling cut flowers. And this is not the only one in this team. Additionally, Richardson herself doesn't have any experience about leading a team. And the Phoenix headquarters was atmosphere is totally different from her previous office. Accordingly, it is more difficult to make their team member adapt into her own working style. Firstly, we have analysis for Iris Hoffman. I would like to apply acquire new theory on this analysis. There are three particular needs in this theory, which are need for achievement, need for affiliation, and need for power. Hoffman had a high need for power because his refusal to change his methods based on Melissa's feedback. He also had a dismissive attitude about others and accumulated his power by not sharing any kind of information. Besides, he had a high need for achievement because he was using his full potential to achieve his targets. Secondly, we have analysis for Chelsea Peterson. I would like to apply two-factor theory and equity theory on this analysis. Two-factor theory identifies the two factors lead to satisfaction and dissatisfaction. Chelsea was nervous all the time and unable to build good relationship with her boss. Equity theory identifies that people act to eliminate any inequity in the rewards received for their work in comparison with others. According to this theory, when Chelsea felt her conversation with Char Richardson would not have the impact she wanted, she hired a lawyer to balance out what she viewed as inequity. Thirdly, we have analysis for Sarah Vega. According to Maslow's hierarchy of needs theory, Sarah had high physiological needs. She was so unconcerned with her work, often came late and left soon, or always kept on texting on mobile. So she just concerned with her basic needs, which will fulfill from her recent designation and did not need anything more than that. Solution for common mental words company initiatives. Uh, things each different person involves different situation, and here uh, we have three solutions for three major characters we uh, majorly discussed uh, on lacking of a common mental words company initiatives. Uh, for Hoffman, he didn't follow the order that he's supposed to follow from the new manager, Richardson. Uh, so in this case, I think it would be better uh, for Richardson ask him for help in different tasks and ensure him that he is very necessary in the group. This would increase Alex, which is Hoffman, uh, efficiency and break his dismissive attitudes. For Vega. Setting motivation model is important by giving her rewards and also because she didn't realize or know the product well, uh, I think it would be better sending her to front line to learn. Um, there are a lot of opportunities available to the team members at Color Tech, but they just not ready for it. So for Taros, um, these employees are very self-serving by his perception when it comes to work by himself. Uh, Richardson should give him prize and uh, appreciating him, also encouraging him by accepting his tremendous idea. Uh, things Tyrell is high on the need of uh, autonomy 
I think it's a very good idea giving him the authority to handle the cut, cut flower business alone. Yeah, so there are two majority problems in mm -hmm. solution two. The first one is the case has, men has mentioned that when Campbell asked Richardson if everything was right, firstly, she would like to, she should have expressed her opinion of how she doesn't know about certain report and would like, would like to some training in this position if it's available. So in my perspective, Richardson has started have some trust issue with her senior manager, therefore she should keep meeting with Campbell to ensure that she knows the job that are ex that are accepted of her, and to get a quick run quick rundown of the of how to accurately complete the paperwork that is new that's now accepted of her. There, if this doesn't work, if this doesn't work, she she should contact VP and ask what training program are available. To someone in her position to hand and assess the different risk to requirement and requirement of the job. A second problem is the Richardson should get the whole group together and there are, there is a plenty of time to talk and explain the issues that are present and ask each member each member's opinions of what to do and try to get a line of the communication on the business. And next, Richardson should express her determination and ambitions to all of the staff know that she wants them to succeed in the company and she is available to discuss whenever it's need to make the same simplify and specific. Hoffman has expressed his dissatisfaction with supporting the new product line and smaller customers, creating customer goals for its employees based on his strengths and will allow for increased job satisfaction and ultimately or uh, more productive term. Richardson was a young professional looking to go with a color teach. Although there were no open position for him to be invited to creating a development program to provide coaching experience and feedback will let employers know the company is investing in him and build his confidence. And Vega has issues going on outside. The office that are uh, that are preventing him, preventing her from working a typical 14-hour week, by providing the option for the flexible schedule, it allows employers set their own schedule and increases production and satisfaction. So here is our presentation today. Thank you for your watching.